four young artists living and working in Berlin. Two Israelis, one from Vietnam, and a German. And they're all in the running for the National Gallery's 2009 Prize for Young Art. I'm Yang Bo, um, an artist living in Berlin um, since five years. I was originally born in Vietnam and raised in Denmark. Hello, Hello, I'm Annette Kelm and I work with photography. My name is Karen Seter and I'm a video artist. My name is Omer Fast and I mainly make short films and videos. American Israeli artist Omer Fast often appears in his own videos, like here on the right, which is why he doesn't want to be filmed for this interview. Complex artists, complex art. The jury says its nominees this year are courageous risk takers. We all know, well, not all of us, but many of us know, that some of the most difficult artists, those who are often criticized in the beginning, later turn out to be the truly great ones. Jans brought an old chandelier. Many of the works that I'm doing, I usually take like this everyday stuff into an exhibition place and trying to pin the meaning of it. The chandelier comes from the famous Hotel Majestic in Paris. History was written there in 1973, when the Paris Peace Accord officially ended the United States military involvement in Vietnam. Jan Vo has deconstructed the chandelier, emblematic of the investigation into his identity and Vietnamese roots. His second project for the prize, a roof garden full of rhododendrons. Here Vo is referencing the colonial era in his country, when missionaries brought the plants from Vietnam to Europe. I'm not an artist working with the studio, so I use like uh exhibition places as uh, a kind of laboratory where you examine the objects. At first glance, these works look quite conventional. But in German photographer Annette Kalm's pictures, something's always amiss. Something which ultimately points to the next layer of meaning. The motifs are all captured with an analog large format camera. The large format sets a mood. I've tried it with a medium-sized format as well, and that's not too bad either. She doesn't like talking about her work. She thinks her pictures speak for themselves. In her portrait series, Kelm often photographs her friends and acquaintances. Still lives as portraits, nothing new there, and not truly surprising, controversial, or exhilarating. Everything the jury says are its selection criteria for the prize for young art. The fact that an artist has already sold is certainly not a criterion for the jury. The criterion is simply a discernible potential at the start of an artist's career. And that's what they're looking for. All the nominees have already had an international breakthrough, including Omar Fast. He's created a three-part installation for the competition. We are going to make a movie about this, eh? eh? Well, actually, there's going to be two movies. The first one's going to be extracts from conversation I've been having with people like you. Nigerians? Uh, no. Refugees. I mean, like asylum seekers. Okay. Yeah. The theme of his new work, Migration and Asylum. Three films which tell one story from various viewpoints, placing both prejudice and habitual ways of thinking under scrutiny. They are elaborately staged and seem to range from art to film. I'm often asked if I believe in one truth. Certainly there are facts, real events that happen. But beyond these facts are the narratives. It's these stories that fascinate me. Which is why the narratives are often interwoven. Or the work is about stories that seesaw between voices or viewpoints. 
The fourth nominee is also a video artist, Israeli Karen Sitter. She's used tabloid newspaper stories about murder and suicide, both failed attempts and ones which people actually went through with as the basis for her work. I'm not really criticizing. I'm using like elements that I think are um, effective, maybe, in, in cinema. Because I want to affect the people. I don't want them to see it as an intellectual experience or something. Like, uh, so I'm trying to use what uh, I see other people do, trying to copy them, put it in my stuff. She uses amateur actors in her films. There's trashy and almost absurd elements to her work. Collectors and art critics alike can't get enough of her. All the pieces under consideration for the prize were created for this jury. The artists worked up until the very last instant, so the results were a surprise for everyone. What emerged was an exhibition of baffling, unsettling pieces. Complex artists creating complex art. In this sense, the jury has achieved what it set out to do. And although the prize for young art won't make these pieces any easier to grasp, it's a success story in itself. Artists such as Daniel Richter and Olafur Eliasson saw their careers take off after winning. The suspense will keep mounting until September 22nd. And then the lucky winner will be awarded the prize for young art and a check for 50,000 euros.